Hi, welcome to Brain Ears, uh, a web series where every week we tell you a story that's going to eat your brain. Mm -hmm. My name is Hallie Kiefer. I'm Mary Lords. And this week we have a, a very special Brain Eaters, because mm -hmm. if you've been watching, I feel like we do a lot of weird science stuff, mm -hmm. a lot of weird sexual stuff, maybe some silly weird news, but weird this, news. Is, uh, this is a real special episode because this is a Brain Eater in a different way, which is like, this is something that is truly haunting as an idea, yeah. and that is the death of a woman named Joyce Carol Vincent. Uh, mm -hmm. You probably read about her news. She died in her apartment in London, and no one found her for two years. Of course, there's been other stories like this, where people have been dead for years, and no one checked up on them. Yeah. Nobody realized it. And it is haunting because I you do think as a person you're, it, like, there's just so many people you, you have connections to. Yeah. Like, like co-workers, friends, family, mm -hmm. even just like acquaintances, my landlady. You know, yeah. like just like people you know who you would think that it, given a situation like you know, you dying unexpectedly, someone would at least find you. Yeah, well what's even weirder is she did have all of those things. She was like a young woman when there's a, a, a movie made about this mm -hmm. called Dreams of a Life and they talked to some of her friends and coworkers and they're all like, we loved her, She thought we thought she yeah. was great. We assumed when we didn't hear from her that she was just living this great life. But the reality is like there's so many different situations, including that one, but like Elderly people who don't have living family members. People mm -hmm. you don't know. You're in a place where you don't know people. Like, yeah. you're an immigrant. Like, there's so many places, like, situations where people are alone. Mm -hmm. And that's fucking terrifying. Like, that's so... As a human, yeah. it goes against, like, what... It, to me, like, fundamentally, like, the pleasure of being a human is, which is having relationships mm -hmm. with people uh, who would be at least find you when you're dead. Even if you have no connections, if you're renting a home or you own a home, you have bills Paying and eventually... Utilities. Yeah, those will come and get Anything. you. Anything. But I guess all of her stuff was included in like, just auto was taken from her take account. It. And that's how, I feel like in the future this will happen more and more because everybody has, like my bills are all set up to my yeah. accounts. To me, uh, what's crazy is the TV was still on. I don't, oh. know, why, I don't know why that bothers me. Like, all it's of the stuff like, was still on. Yeah, it's almost like you thought the TV would shut off, like, out of respect. Yeah, just be like, Like, just I'm like, sorry. all right, can we just no. turn it off? For two years, 24-7. And you know that all of her neighbors or whoever lived there was like, well, her TV's on, she's home. Yeah. How, long, how long do you think you could go before someone found you? My roommate is gone this entire week. <laughs> I think I could go this entire week. That's just true. Yeah. I have a job. But like I would say but it's at least then. a couple days before someone yeah. it even occurred to people like, she didn't come in, is she sick? I haven't heard from her. Mm -hmm. Oh we gotta call the cops. Yeah. What about you? I mean, you live with somebody. I, I with hope someone. that he would notice if yeah. you But I always think about those situations where like if you're like, Oh, I'm gonna go on a trip. Yeah, yeah. I'll be gone for the weekend. Yeah. And then what if you're just gone? Oh, God damn. Because there's like there's people I don't talk to for months on end. So which of the numerous things that could potentially eat your brain from this week, which one do you think will actually eat it? The thing that's gonna eat my brain that we didn't really bring up is that when they found her she was a skeleton. And you will just never know. You'll never know how she died. There's like nothing. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, because there's nothing to go on. The apartment wasn't disturbed. The TV was on. It wasn't a clear. Like no, it wasn't nothing. foul play. Yeah, but maybe it was. God. Maybe it was like very tricky foul play. Oh boy. Yeah, and that kind of bumps me out. Oh, I didn't think about that part. I guess for me, it is the idea that like, even if right now I pretty much feel like within a couple days somebody is finding me. Yeah. If I'm elderly, I'm fucking open the door to my apartment building. Yeah. Could someone, anybody, yeah, care about me and take care of me? Well, or this woman, we're just like that. It's just like she had like a yeah. vibrant life with friends and family, and then due to a fucked up situation, cut those ties. Maybe had to, or mm -hmm. who knows, cut those ties. So then she no longer had them. Like to have to, to feel like you that would not happen to you, and then realizing you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. So let that fucking eat your brain. If you have any other comments or, or things that are going to eat your brain, uh, let us know and put it down below. If not, we will see you next week. More brain eaters. Goodbye, Bye, guys. Take care of one another. Yeah, call your friends. <laughs> if we assumed anything good, we would the, be yeah. doing something else in our lives. <laughs> that is not this. <laughs>